Hi. Well, I'm walking down a street that I used to live on over um, three years ago called East Girard. Yep, I should have been walking down this street or walking down the East Hamden side to get to my apartment after 8 10 p.m. April 6th, 2011. But I was hit by a white Nissan Maxima that almost took my life. I came quite close to death. I had a parietal skull fracture. I suffered subdural hematoma, brain swelling, followed by the subdural hematoma despite the uh, medical treatment I was getting in intensive care. And either 48 to 72 hours later, a neurosurgeon drilled a hole in the back of my head right about here. And then a few hours later, quite unfortunately, I had emergency surgery. I had uh, emergency surgery performed. It was right after, and I'm not kidding, I swear to God, it's the truth, a cerebral brain hemorrhage. The good Lord wanted me to live for a reason. The good Lord put the wisdom of the neurosurgeon, who already had quite a lot of uh, expertise and experience in severe head trauma ne type neurosurgery. He put the wisdom in his, in his mind anyway. And then I was hospitalized for 11 weeks. I do remember having a dream while I was uh, in a coma where my father comes to visit me at this job I had <clears throat> at a uh, really high dollar kind of formal salad buffet restaurant and I was stocking up some nice loaves of French bread in these wicker baskets that you used to be able to buy at uh, Pier 1 Imports. And he says to me, well, you wouldn't ignore me if I were pinging the cat, because I had a cat with that name. And then I put my hands over my eyes and I start crying. And he says to me, come on, I'm just teasing you. And then he says, you're not going to talk to me? And then he says, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you acting like this? I'll need to pause. Gramercy Apartment Homes. I lived there when it was the Glen and it was white with red uh, trim pieces, trim dividers, whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah, I know this area like the back of my hand. That uh, children's uh, playground area didn't look quite like that when I first moved in here back in 2005. I stayed here until 2011 until I got tragically hurt. And that house right there 
was in foreclosure until about uh, early 2000, early to mid 2006. And I think it sold for roughly a little over $100,000. I want to sell it now. They'll get over $600,000 for sure. Okay. Get across the street. Okay, so I believe I stopped where he says, What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you acting like this? You're going to get in big trouble with your boss sitting there crying like that. What's the matter? What's going on with you? You don't usually, you don't usually act like this. As I stood there crying with both my hands over my eyes. And then I take my hands off my eyes, I wipe the tears off my face. And I go, <laughs> something like that. And then I go, probably, about like this. And then I crisscross both my arms like that to cover up my head and my face and he says aren't you going to tell me what's wrong aren't you going to talk to me why can't you talk to me I don't understand and then the dream ended here is what was really going on for sure he was actually physically there inside the intensive care room that I was already in and I was comatose and I partially, very partially became non, uh, partially conscious, conscious of what was going on. And he was wearing a nice light blue Hawaiian shirt with white hibiscus flowers. And what he was saying to me for real was probably something else other than what was said in the dream. Artiste Departments and here is the public library. Well, I'm going to have to end the, the vlog now. Thank you everybody. Goodbye.